and the changes that he's made in my life are tremendous. He's blessed us. And I'm just so grateful to the Lord. I want to give him thanks for the tiniest thing, the things that we take for granted, like waking up this morning and that they, the ability to get up out of bed on your own and walk and to have shoes on your feet and food on your table and a roof over your head. It's all these little things that we take for granted and I just, he just has opened my eyes, you know. I go outside and I see the trees moving with the wind and I like, God, you're so amazing. You make all these leaves move and it's just like I see things totally different totally different the breeze hits me and I feel him it's like he's in the air he's in the air I breathe and it, he's just touched me so so much he's brought me through so so much in my life I am not the person that I used to be when I came to Living Word Church my God things just totally totally changed for me I just can't express how blessed this church truly is and I encourage anyone who's having problems who's finding themselves depressed or in a state of solitude to come to Living Word Church because you were going to find all your answers when you give your heart to the Lord and he is truly going to bless you the way that he has blessed me. Um, I wouldn't have seen myself standing up with a mic and talking to live stream. And like I said, all of these believers in this house who are truly believers. I have never, ever been in a church where they treat you like family here. They're so loving and caring, and they're always willing to talk to you. And I just um, want to give the Lord all the glory for leading me here to this church. And I, I ask that he will continue to, to give me breakthrough, that my family will one day walk into this church just like I did. That would be truly a dream come true. But I, I know that the Lord is going to get us all there. So thank you. That's my testimony. Thank you, sister. Thank you, Jesus. I think I, think I remember when I had that moment, too. I, I think as um, when, you, when you accept Jesus, you have that, that Jesus moment when it's just like the light bulb clicks and you start seeing the world different, like she says. And things of the world just kind of they don't even matter anymore. They, I mean, you still need them to survive, but they're not as important as they used to be. It's just you start seeing things different, and it's more about the afterlife and what, you know, what you're going to be prepared for and, and what you're preparing for. It, it's, it's more important where you're going to spend eternity than, you know, the next 70, 80 years that you have here, whatever the Lord gives you. Amen? Amen. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, finish up with the testimonies. Let me go ahead and uh, close in prayer. Uh, Lord, we just thank you just for bringing us here tonight, Lord, safely, all of us that are here and everyone that, that was able to tune in for live stream for the testimonies that, uh, that were shared tonight. We just speak blessings over everyone, Lord, and that you just uh, anoint everyone here and continue to bless us just... Uh, uh, by allowing us to be able to share your testimonies of all the goodness that you that you do for us, Lord, and um, just continue to bless us in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Amen. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, tithes and offerings. So um, if you want to go ahead and get your tithes and offerings ready, and I believe they're going to go ahead and put it up, and we're going to go ahead and do the decree. I'll give you guys a couple of minutes on that um, just to get ready. So if you want to stand up and uh, hold your tithes and offerings up together. 
And we do this um, here at Living Word just because we, we want to decree, you know, the tithes and offerings. This way, you know, we're all in agreement that the Lord does bless us when we follow his word. And um, it, it is biblically that, you know, we are, we are to, to tithe to the church. Um, and it's not, you know, so, so the church can get a million-dollar building or pastor can get a, a new car or anything like that. But it's just to keep it going. Um, you know, as, as a church, you know, you know, you got to pay for electricity, you got to pay for the water, you know, just for the building in itself. And, and that's what the Lord commands us to do. And, you know, give your first 10% and anything above that is an offering. And, uh, we're not looking to do We're not looking to get rich here or anything. We're just, you know, we're following God's commandment, just like all the other commandments. We have, we have to take this one just as serious as the rest. Amen. So uh, if we're ready to go ahead and uh, decree, just go ahead and uh, lift up your offerings and uh, just repeat after me. As we receive today's offering, we are believing the Lord for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefit sales and commissions, Favorable settlements, settlements. estates and inheritances, inheritances. interests and income, income. rebates and returns, returns. checks in the mail, mail. gifts and surprises, surprises. finding money, money. Debts debts paid off, expenses decrease, blessing and increase. Thank you, Lord, for meeting all of my financial needs, that I may have more than enough to give into the kingdom of God and promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, all together, let's say it. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, you can bring up your tithes and offerings. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, listen, um, th- th- a couple of announcements before we move on to the next order of uh, business. Number one, make sure you talk to Irene about this Sunday's Fellowship Sunday. Um, she's got a whole list over there that uh, I'm glad I'm not doing that. Anyway, um, she's got a whole list over there for Fellowship Sunday. So if you have not signed up for something or you need to know what to bring, talk to Irene after service. Amen. Uh, the other thing I need is I need Mr. Joseph he, uh, Garza. Get on up here, man. That's you, man. I was going to call you Jimenez. Who's Joseph Jimenez? Ah, your brother-in-law, all right. You know, it wasn't even my idea. I want to steal it, but but it was the pastor's idea. Um, would you stretch your hands toward this young man? I keep telling him he's going to preach one day. I know he just laughs at all. So, no, 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 no. I think he's going to, I think he's got a call of God on his life. Um and uh, uh, was it you that started this? Yeah, my wife has a very strong prophetic uh, uh, gifting. And, and so anyway, all the pastors wanted to give this to you. Um, it's a new Bible. It's a Bible for guys. Okay, so you're a guy. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Bible that kind of goes with your age and everything else. Um, and uh, we just want all the pastors uh, signed it for you. And we just want to give you that and just say, you know what? Be blessed and step into whatever. Look, it matches his shirt. Look at that. Look at that. I, I just had to say that. You were on live stream, you know. Am I embarrassing you yet? Okay, good. All right. Well, anyway, let's just pray for him. Father, We just I, I come before you, Lord, and I lift up my brother here. He's got a call, Lord. He's got a call on his life, Father, and we just want to honor that call, Lord, by, by honoring him with a Bible. It may be his second. It may be his third. 
but it's the one that we gave him, Lord, the one that you told us to give him, Father. So we ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would bless my brother Joseph. Bless him, Lord. Ignite the fire within his bones, God, that he would go and he would do what you've called him to do. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would protect him, that you would guide him, that you would strengthen him. But most of all, Father, that he would walk in the fullness of your presence. That he would be a a carrier of your glory unto all the ends of the earth. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Uh, you may be seated. Um, we're we're going to be doing something. We're going to get into praise and worship in just a minute. A couple of more announcements. Saturday, uh, food bank. Okay, 9:30 a.m. right here. We had a good time last time. We did a good job. I am Christian Fellowship will be joining us. Peggy will be joining us and Casa de la Palabra with pa- <laughs> yay. With, with Pastor Fernando will also be joining us. For those of you who don't know, I don't know Spanish. Um, so um, this Saturday, we will have the food bank. Volunteers come at 930, okay? Uh, because we've got to sort through the food and get things ready. We don't actually, if you're telling your friends and family to come get food, which I want you to do, that doesn't start till noon, okay? Because we need those couple of hours to get things right. And we're usually out of here about 2.30 or so. Quite honestly, the more people we invite, the less food we have to worry about, and we can just go home, okay? Um, so let's, let's, this Saturday, food bank. One other thing. On the calendar, we were talking about the men's fellowship for next Saturday, but we want to talk afterwards about maybe pushing it back to the 23rd, I think, something like that. So men, I'd like to talk to you after service. Uh, this this men's fellowship we're actually doing at Calaveras Lake, okay? So uh, we're gonna go. Fit, yeah, Rick's all like, yeah, and and we're gonna get like raw chunks of meat and throw it on the fire. It's gonna be very manly, I tell you. We're gonna we're gonna get our clubs and drag them behind us. You know, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, the, the older guys got that one right. It's like, um, anyway. Uh, so we're gonna do that. But I'd like to talk to the men after service, okay, on that. And there's one last thing I'm going to talk about real quick, and this is very serious. Um, we are we're, we're changing some stuff up here at Living Word, um, and one of the things that we're changing is during the praise and worship time, I, 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 I'm going to ask you, please, no one-on-one ministry, okay? In other words, I, I've watched, and I've, I've watched for the past few weeks, and I watch people during the praise and worship going and giving somebody a word or, or you know, praying for people. You have to understand something. Our church is known for the presence of God. And I, I, as the head of the house, have to guard that. And praise and worship is all about Father. Okay? So if you get a word from Father during the praise and worship, you can write it down or you can talk to that person after service. Uh, but please, not during the actual praise and worship time because that time is set aside for Father and Father alone. Does that make sense? And, and this, this is not a rebuke. My, my job as, as a shepherd is to guide the sheep in the direction they have to go. And so when I saw this and God started talking to me about it, he's, he's a jealous God. Okay. And, and so he said, just, just let them know. Just let them know that, that during that time, it's all about me. You know, that it's all about him. You know, and, and during that time, you know, it, it's, that's why I tell you, you know, if you've got a phone call, you really got to take Walk out of the room because what we're doing here is we're worshiping God. Okay? So any type of one-on-one ministry, I don't have a problem with that because we encourage you to use your giftings, okay? Uh, Especially everyone that's here tonight. We encourage you. Use your giftings, okay? But not during Father's time, okay? Because that's his time and nobody else's. And I'm, I'm I'm going to protect that time. Because, you know, just this Sunday, we had several, several different spots where people were smelling the presence of God. I mean, we had honeysuckle over here. We had roses over there. People were smelling the presence of God. We've got to protect that. We've got to, we've got to do what we can to protect that. And the way we do that is make sure that Father is the focus 
all the time. Amen? So again, that, please, that's not a rebuke. That's just me guiding you. That's me shepherding you, okay? Uh, that's just me helping you. Amen? Well, listen, we've got a special treat for you tonight. Um, many of you have met this man before, but uh, for those of you who don't, Pastor Rudy Sanchez is, is here tonight, and uh, he is the pastor that actually started it all here. And uh, in, in February of 1991, I walked up here a sinner, and he was a pastor that led me in, in the, in, to the Lord. And I walked out saved by grace. And uh, so he's here tonight, and he, was, he said he had something he wanted to do for us tonight. He, 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 he lives next door, okay? He used to have his church in this building. And uh, he lives next door in, a, in the parsonage, and he says, man, I, I hear you guys getting down all the time. <laughs> he says, I hear you guys going. You, your church likes to worship. I said, yeah, they, they, they know what it is to worship, and they like to worship. And he says, well, I was wondering if I could go and do something for the church. And I said, well, absolutely. So he's here tonight, and uh, I'm not quite sure what he's going to do, but feel free, Pastor. As you get older, you know, it hurts. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But, but I just, that's all right. We can leave it there. I'll pick it up in a minute because I, I have something I'm going to do, okay? And uh, just say praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because you all, the church, has just given testimony of what powers and blessings the Lord has given each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. Remember, God is in the bl a blessing business. Amen. 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 Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you. I'm just going to read a uh, scripture because everything you said today was victory. Victory. God moving in us and through us, hermanos, amen. So um, I, if you have your Bible, open your Bible to Exodus 15, because I, now that I'm, uh, uh, like I said, see me retire, I, I like to praise the Lord, amen. amen. I like to praise the Exodus chapter 15, verse 20, amen. Because here, you know, you all were confessing victory, amen. Victory, 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 hermanos, amen. Because after victory, look what Miriam did, hermanos, amen. The, the Lord had just uh, opened the, the Red Sea, amen, and the, God's people marched through, amen. amen. And, and, uh, and, and they were afraid. They were going through doubt, confusion, but they got on the other side, and here comes the enemy behind them, but God took care of them, hermanos, amen. 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 No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And look what happened. Uh, Exodus 15, verse 20, and Miriam, say Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of whom? Aaron. The brother of whom? Who is he brother to? Moses, amen. And took a what? Timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with what? Dances, Dances. amen. And Miriam answered them, what? Sing ye unto the Lord. Unto whom? Unto the Lord. For he hath triumphed. How gloriously. The horse and his rider has he thrown into the sea. Hermanos, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Remember, they had victory, hermanos. They had victory, and we have the victory, hermanos. Amen. And that was joy they sang and danced, hermanos. Remember. But see, here's what I tell people, you know, you know. You know, sometimes people, they, they see people get up here and, and, and they want to dance and they want to shout and then praise the Lord because the Spirit's upon us. And, amen. and people say, oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, look at, look at that. You know, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. No. And, man, no. Remember when David was, was bringing the Ark of the Covenant into the, the temple and, man, and he was dancing and, man, and he was dancing and rejoicing and man, praise the Lord. And, man, and, and, and what happened? His wife was out there watching him. And he, she made fun of him. She made fun of him. But you know what? You never heard her mentioned in the Bible anymore. Amen. So God took care of it. Amen. But, uh, you know, because the Bible says where you know, the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Amen. 
And my, and I believe the Spirit of the Lord is here. And my, the man, so I can, can you want to dance with me? I, you know, and I, I want you young people. I'm going to be 74 years old. And my, the man, I want to see if y'all can jump higher than I can. And my, man, come on, stand with me. Come on, brother. And my, give Jesus a praise offering. And my, the man. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this cane. And be, because when the Spirit moves, I'm, I don't need no help. I just got it inside of me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, ready? Because I got a song, and, and the words are going to be up there. So I want you to rejoice with me. Come into the house. Amen. This is God's house. Amen. And what are we going to do? Magnify the Lord, amen. Lift up holy hands, our heart in one accord, amen. Go ahead, man. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, amen. Praise the Lord. As you see, you know, that's why I don't sing too much because my voice goes amen. from shouting to. Come on, louder. Come on. Lift up holy hands. He's worthy, hermanos. He loved the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. He has given a song and a song. Is he worthy, hermanos? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you look a lot better than you look right now. Come on. Come on. You're somewhere in the future. And you look much better than you look right now. Sometime in the future. And you look much better. Yes. Come on. Come on. Everybody move. Go. Come on. Tell him. You got to go. Right now. Right now. Yes, Lord. Lord, 
He has given us a song. Sing unto the Lord. A song and a sword. Is he worthy, hermanos? Praise the Lord. Come on, church. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Look much better than you look right now. Hey, yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, are you warmed up? Are you warmed up? Okay, hit the next one, brother. Now get with it. I'm in praise. Amen.
Yes, Lord. Church. says church is dull. Amen. 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 Besides this, you get an extra. You reduce weight. <laughs> Amen. Oh, God. Challenge the men. Well, that's it. Brother Jesse, Brother Pastor Jesse, thank you. Amen. Give Jesus a praise offering. Him. Hallelujah. Let's get the worship team on up here and let's continue this. I like this uh, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. It's a church. I was on fire and so was the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah, and he really doesn't need the cane, by the way. That's all part of the. It's a skit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to keep praising the Lord? Listen, we had some great testimonies of provision. We had testimonies of healing. We had testimonies of financial provision. Uh, we've had all kinds of testimonies today, and, and uh, we get an opportunity right now to thank him. This is what it's about. This is why we reverse it, and we don't go from praise and worship to testimonies. We do our testimonies first, because this is your opportunity to thank him right now. Amen. How many of you are ready to thank the Lord? How many are thankful? You know, uh, I, I, Sister uh, Marianne, you said it best. I've always said it. My heart beats another beat because he allows it. You know, the, the, the doctors will say, well, it's an involuntary muscle that automatically does it through the nerve endings. And this is a, No, my God allows me to take another breath, allows my heart to beat another beat, allows me to wake up another day, allows me the opportunity to, to live on this earth to do more for his kingdom. That's the way it works. See, because when you submit yourself to him, then you understand that even your breath that you take is not yours anymore. Amen. It's not. It's his. That's why he can call you home whenever he's going to call you home. Because it belongs to him. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Woo! What's that? You want to get a test? Come on, let's squeeze a real quick testimony in real quick. I had to share this. I just got off work, and I just, the Lord brought me here because I had to share it with my church family. 
a little emotional. My family's truly excited. My mom is ill, and we're just going through that day by day. But for the last, I'm going to say, three years, we lost my aunt. We couldn't find her. She was in Lockport. Her son had a heart attack. We had no clue where she was. We've been looking everywhere and anywhere for her. She had a son, my cousin, that's mentally challenged. No clue where he was. No clue. Today, my sister went to the Social Security office to fix some papers for my mom. Lord behold, and it was only God. And only God. Yeah. Because he walked in with this lady that's from a home for the homeless. My cousin has been out homeless for, for the last six years. We never knew that he was out there somewhere in the cold, no food. We don't know, but today was, it was God. It was God because then we asked him, or my sister did, if she knew where his mom was. And he said, I ran into the neighbor that we had next door. And she, he kind of directed her, but didn't, like I said, mentally. So with those directions, my sister took the road after she left the Social Security office. God behold, we found my aunt today. <laughs> we found my aunt in the nursing home and she was put there. <laughs> so I don't know if this was, this is, I know it was God. I know it was him and my family. We just, we know it was him. So I don't know if this is a testimony or a miracle, but we know that it's him and we praise him for this because we've been searching for the last three years. Um, I don't know about you, but restoration of family is always a testimony. Amen. We just, we just get it. Let's, let's go. You guys ready? They're ready. A little more. Come on, church. We're going to continue in that victory. You know that one song said I see myself in the future and it's better than I am now I like that because that confirms that what we what the word that we got on Sunday about the transition for this church you know that word that says that the former house no that the latter house is greater than the former house so who I was before is nothing compared to he to who he's gonna make me to be in the future yeah. Come on, church. Let's praise him. Let me hear a shout of praise. Hail Jesus, you're my king. Hail Jesus, you're my king. Your life frees me to sing. Your life frees me to sing. And I will praise you all my days. I will praise you all my days. You're perfect in all your ways. Jesus, you're my king. Hail Jesus, you're my king. Your life frees me to sing. Your life frees me to sing. And I will praise you all my days. I will praise you all my days. You're perfect in all your ways. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. And I will obey your word. See your kingdom come. Not my will, but yours be done. Not my will, but yours be done. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. I will obey your word. I will obey your word. I wanna see your kingdom come. Not my will, but yours be done. Jesus. 
Jesus reigns. Hail, hail, Lord of Judah. How powerful you are. Hail, hail, Lord of Judah. You know, it's impossible to have a bad day. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's impossible to have a bad day. Now, are you just agreeing or do you understand what I'm saying? Because the word says that this is the day the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. If you think you're having a bad day, you need to remember that this day is the Lord is the day that the Lord has allowed us to live another so how can you have a bad day father we just praise you tonight Lord we thank you for the testimonies oh God the financial testimonies the healings father we thank you that your word is true Lord that we can stand on it without doubt that you are living and active and that you love us so much that you're willing to give your only son that we can be reconciled unto you oh god we celebrate you tonight we lift up your name come on church lift up his name let him know that he's welcome in this place you are welcome, Lord. Have your way in us, O oh God. 
It all started with you, O oh Lord, and it ends with you, Lord. So we rejoice in this holy day. We give you the honor. Let it flow. There's a healing in 
this place Sing and honor and glory and power forever We worship you, worship the King of Kings Your Savior, Savior, Redeemer Risen Lord, we exalt your holy name There's restoration forever, forever and ever. Come on, church, let me hear you shout out a shout of praise. Is he your father? Lord, we thank you for the testimony. I pray that every testimony tonight would be a planted seed, oh Lord. Because if you did it for them, Lord, you can do it for me.
just feel it in our hearts tonight that we should intercede for our city. So, Father God, we come before you, Lord, boldly before your throne, Father. And over San Antonio, Father God, we speak favor. We speak economic favor over our city, Father. Father God, we, we come and we stand in the gap, Father. And we say that the spirit of witchcraft has no place in our city, Father. Father God, we speak and we come before you, Father God, and we come against any de de demonic powers, Father God, any principalities and strongholds over our city, Father God. Father, your word says that there's life and death in the tongue, Father God, and we speak death to those things in the name of Jesus, Father. Father God, I pray over San Antonio, Father, and I pray, Father God, that, and I speak life into the dry bones, Father. Father God, that from this city, Lord, that we'll become a city, Father God. Father God, that we'll become a city that, that becomes a hub, Father God, for your glory, Lord. Father God, we speak that the hospitals would be emptied, Father. Father God, we pray for our government, Father. We pray for our, ma our mayor, Father God, our city council members, Father God, and we speak wisdom, Father God, to them. We speak dreams and visions and encounters, Father. Father, when Ezekiel prayed over the dry bones, Father, he didn't say that they were dry, Father, but he said that they were alive, Lord. So we speak life into this city, Father. We say that this city is a place that honors you, Father, and puts you first, Lord. We speak favor over the city, Lord. And I pray, Father God, that the believers in this city would begin to rise up, Father. They would begin to rise up, Father God, and believe that the, in the authority that you've given us, Lord. And begin to call things that are not as though they are, Lord. So, Father God, I call this city a city of your, that's yours, Father God. I call this city a city of worship, Lord. I call this city, Father God, a city that puts you first, Father. Father God, I come before you, Father. And I call this city sickness-free, Father. I call this city crime-free, Father. I call this city witchcraft-free, Father God. And Satanism-free, Father. And gang-free, Father. And drug-free, Father. Antonio will be known, Father God, as a city, as a people who dance before you, Father. So, Father God, we release joy into the city, Father. We release joy into the city, Father. Father God, we say that we're a city that will rejoice at your name, Father. That will dance before you, Father God. And I see the streets filled with people dancing for him. I see highways filled with people dancing for him. And the Lord says, I didn't give you feet to just stand there, but I gave you feet to dance. And I didn't give you a mouth just to speak, but I gave you a voice to sing. If you would only know how much your voice moves my heart, you would speak louder, and you would sing louder, and you would dance harder. Like a mother knows the cries of her child, I know your voice. I know your voice and I respond, says the Lord.
Just begin to lift up that hallelujah. Just begin to lift up your hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings, Father. We join in heaven's song, Father, and we say that you're worthy, Lord. We join in heaven's endless song, Father. And we lift up our voices, Father God. We lift up our hands, Father. We sing hallelujah to you, Lord. Shout of victory to the Lord. Come on. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Come on, give victory to the Lord. He's worthy, isn't he? Oh, you're worthy, God. Father, we just, we come before you, Lord. And we bless, we bless you, God. We bless you for your presence. We bless you because of who you are. We bless you with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul. We bless you, God. Because you're worthy. 
You're worthy, God. You're worthy of our worship. You're worthy of our adoration. You're worthy, oh God. And Father, we come in alignment with the prayers that were shared with Pastor Jonathan, God, for the city of San Antonio, Lord. Bring them wisdom. Bring them understanding. But most of all, bring them Jesus. That our city would not only be a hub, but it would be led by born-again believers, God. We ask, Father, for your grace in their lives. Because we're not asking for you to replace them. We're asking for you to save them. We ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, have your way in San Antonio. Let it start in our own homes, God. And let it just grow from there. We ask for a blessing. A blessing that only can come from you, Lord. And that blessing is simply more of you. We want more, God. We want increase. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank you for coming out tonight. We understand Thursdays and Fridays are, are rough because you work. But we know that the hardcore show up on Thursdays, all right? We do. We, know, we understand it. The hardcore show up on Thursdays and the hardcore show up on Fridays. Don't forget we got Friday night prayer tomorrow night. Food bank Saturday, Sunday, church. Somebody say church. Church. And we got some good, I, I looked at that list. We got some good fellowship coming up on Sunday. Come see Irene after service. Men, I'd like to talk to you if you want to get together for the men's fellowship. I'll talk to you right up here. And uh, there was, oh, Peggy brought some carrots, some sandwiches, and some other stuff over there. Apples, I think. So feel free, but eat in the foyer, please. And don't make a mess, kids. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Rudy Sanchez. We truly appreciate it. The Lord honor you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And the Lord expand your horizons. In Jesus' name.